Hey friends, Rebecca here. Hey, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I just want to come in today and give you a one month update of wearing the Stello Biosensor by the Dexcom company. Again, this is a device that is now over the counter and you can get two sensors a month for $99.00. Or if you go ahead and do a subscription where they just send it to you once a month, then it's $89 a month. And I'm using my HSA funds to pay for it. And I am not a diabetic. I was very close to pre-diabetes. Uh, and I have been overweight or obese my entire adult life. And so I'm just wanting to learn more about my body and try to get towards better health and feel better. And so just my uh, one month update, I, I noticed that my hands uh, feel better because I was severely inflamed. I, I fight with chronic inflammation based on lab tests. And just my knees ache and my fingers would ache. So my, my fingers are feeling better. I, I feel less puffy in the morning. So I think that part is going uh, really well. I have lost a few pounds, but, um, you know, with any with any uh, change, it's, it's going to be slow going. And I am in this for the long haul. Uh, I am wearing my third sensor. And I have learned a great deal of information about the foods I eat and uh, how they impact the glucose level. And uh, so I, I know, um, you know, every, I don't feel like I'm on a diet. I feel like I'm still eating, but it has definitely been like a game for me to see how to stay in range. And so I have my range set, what they recommend, uh, from 70 to 140. And I have been uh, kind of obsessed with the numbers, but it's it's been fun. Uh, so for a whole month, I have been tracking this and watch what I eat and then pop in here and look at the numbers. And then uh, I, I've been real proud of myself because I've... I've pretty well figured out eating at home is awesome. I work from home and then eating at home makes it much easier because I've, I've learned that um, kind of what to eat to stay in range. So as of right now, you know, I, I am um, experimenting, but I have learned that meat, uh, cheese, nuts, uh, vegetables, salad, all that is perfectly fine. Like I've, we've been making uh, stir fries with cauliflower rice and it's great. It keeps it very level. And so I'm, I'm learning, um, you know, eggs as well are awesome. I don't know if I mentioned that, but egg, eggs, nuts, cheese, and the things that I'm learning to snack on carrots and sugar snap peas and hummus, um, different to be careful with that. But, you know, it's, it's all a learning game to see what uh, works well. So I just wanted to tell you just a few highlights that I've learned this month. Um, but first off, I am not a, a doctor. I'm not a medical um, uh, professional of any kind. This is just for my own information. And, you know, if I can share some tips with you, then uh, that that's all. The only reason I'm doing this is to learn from me and then also share with you if any of you are interested. Um but I, I have learned a, a great deal. So, for instance, this is, uh, well, we're about 11 o'clock in, um, in, the, in the morning here. And uh, my mornings usually go real well uh, here at home. I can keep it nice and low. I've, I can snack on some uh, meat or, um, you know, I can snack on some nuts and cheese and then have some scrambled eggs. And, and I, I'm just fine in the morning. I'm not usually hungry in the morning. We just came off of a four-day road trip, and I do want to show you the video of everything I ate on those four days. Uh, it's very difficult to eat out and uh, stay in range and, and to make good choices, but I, I wanted to put that together and show you that, so that'll be coming later, uh, what we ate on a four-day, or what I ate on a four-day road trip, and I want to show you what happened to my graphs. So some good decisions and not so good, and so this was a uh, uh, stopping for like a late lunch uh, yesterday about oh two o'clock or so uh, one o'clock and then peaked and came back down by four so so a nice nice good sharp peak went a little higher than I would have liked um topped out at 180 and then right back down so anyway I will show you another video of exactly what I ate for those four days um but then this uh app that comes with Stello works real well it will show you information for a 3, 6, or 12, 24-hour intervals. 
and it only shows you 24 hours, which, which is really all you need. You know, if you're not obsessed with the data, you know, you get to see what your 24 hour cycle looks like from this, from this moment back 24 hours. This will update every 15 minutes um, in the app, but it gives you a reading for every five minutes. So, so you get data for every five minutes, but it dumps it to the app every 15. And so you can see the trend here over your full day. And then it does come in with some um, tips for you. Like uh, it, it detected that I had some spikes over this past weekend while we were traveling. Um, and, and it's given me some suggestions. And so things like that can be very helpful. Um, so it's, it's done a little bit of that for me. It also gives you kind of a daily report. So this tells me that yesterday I was 92% in range. And again, I've been striving to get that as close to 100 as, as I can. But overall, I feel very proud of myself because um, here we've got our, even though yesterday may have been a little tricky um, with a 92% range, my, you'll notice that my overall for the whole month, I now have a full 30 days worth of information in here. So for the whole 30 days, I'm very proud of myself. I've managed to stay in range 97% of that time. So I've uh, been, I've had great success. I don't, haven't had any problems with it falling off. The uh, adhesive works great. Um, I have here recently started using these patches. I'll put an Amazon link below if, if you have any interest. But I have started using this patch. Uh, because I like the fact that it keeps it uh, more flat. There, there's nothing uh, um, snagging on my clothes as I get dressed and things like that. So it uh, it seems to work better for me just to have a, a bigger patch that keeps it a little more flat on your skin. Um, these patches, you know, it, it, it works fine. The, pat, the adhesive that comes with the, the device itself ha has been just fine. Definitely showers, you know, not a problem. Um, and so the app that it comes with is very, very straightforward. You can do it in portrait mode or, or landscape mode. I, I know my phone is a little bit older and it, it's not, uh, doing so well for me there, but you can do it in landscape mode. And then this graph kind of widens out for you so you can see it a little bit better. <laughs> my phone doesn't want to do it now that it's on video. Um, but anyway, so you can, you can use it portrait or, or landscape. And again, oh, here it goes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, my phone doesn't want to do, there it goes. Now it's upside down. Anyway, you can hopefully got the idea, but they do have it now to where you can, you can, um, put your finger on the graph here and it will pop up the box there so that you can track to see what the what the sugar level was at that at that peak so so that works great and again it gives you some tips and tricks as you go every morning it will tell me how my day went yesterday and then whenever you do uh, uh, eat or have some sort of spike it will allow you to insert a note um, to where you can kind of make notes for yourself so I don't know if these notes are maintained because again once the full 24 hours are gone um, I don't know that you see the note again, so I really haven't done much with these notes at all, but that could be helpful for yourself. So, um, one thing I have noticed, uh, again, this app is, is very pretty straightforward. There's some good links down here to take you to more information. Again, this is where you can put in your notes. Um, it will it will help you figure out, you know, how much time you have left on your sensor um, some different uh, settings you can do on your phone to help help it uh, function better. And then again, some links of where to go find more information. So all in all, this is a very simple app and very user-friendly and works great. And so again, uh, having, having your day view here is uh, super helpful. But I have learned, and they are now uh, publicizing, that you can use an app called Clarity. Uh, Dexcom, Dexcom has an app called Clarity, and you can actually use this app as well. 
and so it will have you log in with your information um, once you download this app and uh, let's see that let me Yeah, so I don't, this graph looks different for some reason here. I don't, I don't know if that's quite, uh, looks a little bit different. But you have the ability to look at your information in this. And then I, even on the website, there's a, I think it's clarity.dexcom app or dot com i'm not sure i'll put a link below but there is also this information on a website that you can get to and it's a little bit more user friendly um, than the app but the the cool thing about this is this will keep all of your history information and so these reports have been fantastic you can go in and, and download any of these reports like for instance i can do a whole 30 day the overlay report is pretty cool because it will um, just summarize your information for you. And it kind of shows you a week at a time with one day overlapped across another. And so download the report and then you just have to use something on your phone to be able to view that document. And depending on what report you do, you'll get a very lengthy uh, document. But like for instance, here's a good example of my overlay for my overlay for a particular week and it does a different color per day and you can kind of see there where of course where you tend to eat where you tend to eat your meals throughout the day then obviously you're going to have your peaks as your glucose goes up and you can kind of compare and contrast each day of that week so I, I think that's very very cool so your historical data is there it's just that you need to use the clarity website or the clarity app to be able to see it but uh, all in all I think I think this has been a great experiment for myself uh, being able to learn uh, what to eat to keep it within this target range as best as possible and I love taking notes so I've got my handy dandy journal where I just kind of jot down information and then uh, kind of keep up with a, a food log and then I've been keeping up with the days that I hit 100% in target and uh, definitely I love coloring so it, it helps inspire me and keep me going and um, hopefully I will be I will be able to stay committed to this learning cycle and um, get towards better health. So nutrition is so incredibly important, uh, as well as exercise. So definitely as I start feeling better, then I will be able to increase exercise. But uh, definitely learning about the nutrition is uh, the first good step here. So thanks. If you have any questions, I'll try to help you. Again, I am no expert. This is just my own, my own data and what I am learning on this journey. So thanks so much. And then watch for my next video in this, in this series. I will put them all in the same playlist. But my next uh, video, I want to show you our four-day road trip and what I ate. And it's, it's very cool. It was very eye-opening for me. But thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you later.